Hi guys, this is Saurabh. In this video, we will learn how we can create Maths Quiz app using MIT App Inventor. Okay, so let me show you the demo first. Okay, and the two multiply by three. The answer I am to make it. Let's make it wrong. Uh, correct answer is six. I am to make it five. And click on this answer button. You can see sorry, wrong answer. Try again. Click on try again. Answer is uh, question is as it is. Now I am to make it six. Then click on answer. You will find correct answer. Good job. Next question. You will find the another nine to ten. Let's make it ninety. Uh, or and the answer check good job correct answer so here we go so we are using your mit app inventor to create this app so click on start your project and your project name is math so that's my first screen of my app okay so i'm going to drag and drop your one layout click on this layout and that one is vertical arrangement now just change this background color to something is black and make this one align horizontal to center top vertical to center click on this vertical arrangement and make this height in percentage it 80 and make this with this percentage to 80 okay now click on this background color and click on custom and you'll find your another color and make it in a tile something this one now Click on user interface and you will find the label. Just drag and drop the label one. Okay. And then make this one font size at least 40. Okay. And change this text to zero. And then just change, make it font bold and change this text color to white. Okay. Click on this vertical arrangement and make this one align to center and align horizontal to center. Now just click on this label. Command C or Control C, Control V and then Control V again three times. Just click on this label two, okay? Or uh, you can make it label three here and change this text to into, okay? Now that's the value, okay? We have to calculate. Now we have to put the answer. So for that, I'm to use your text box, this one, and make this one height is fine. I'm to make this one with this. At least in a percentage, I'm to make it 60. Okay, and then I'm to make it uh, font size is 20, and then make it font bold. And then I need one button here. Just drag and drop this one button and change this text to submit or answer. Okay, this one is your answer, uh, and you have to make it font bold. This one at least. 18 and make this background color to orange okay you just need to click on this button to uh, for answer okay and you have to put your answer in this text box fine now we have to display here uh, questions and answer and we have to check all these answer also so now we need one notifier to display here the answer is wrong or right that one notifier okay now that's the design of our app now go to the block section so whenever, whenever we uh, screen in a slice, this one, so we have to call and we have to get here and we have to randomize their, their number, okay? So in the level one and in the level two, okay? So go to the block. For that, we have to create one variable in a slice global variable and global variable name is num1 and the value I'm to make it in initial is zero. In a slice with zero and num2 make it in a slice zero, okay? Now, we need here one processor. So click on this processor and two processor and just type this processor name to set num. Okay. And then click on this label one and here you will find label set label one dot text. This one, drag and drop this here and the set label one should be click on math and you will find the random integer from. Here, if you want to make it your uh, quiz tough, so you have to change this number to 100 or 90. I'm going to make it easy, so I'm going to make it 10. Okay, and then just copy paste this here and change this value, value to level 2, and this is fine. Okay, now we have to set that number in this level. So, set global number. Okay, what we can do here, 
uh, instead of we are just redirecting all that number random number in level one we can make it here right? and we will get this number one from here like this simple okay and again we have to do it for just copy paste this value and change this num2 then delete this block and get the num2 like this okay it's good now we have to get answer also okay in the back end so just copy paste this global and just make this variable name is answer and then set global answer value and to make it click on math and you will find the this multiply and then you have to get the number one get num one variable value and num two value okay and then you have to multiply this and you got that number in this label or in this uh, answer variable in the ans okay now whenever we open our app it means the screen will initialize then we have to call this procedure here right and this will call like this all this thing now whenever someone click on this button one it means whenever they submit their answer so we have to check the answer is correct or not so we use here if else condition and then use math and you'll find equal sign and the, we know that the answer is in this variable answer and the some user will fill the answer from this text box one dot text this one okay if the value of global answer is equal to text box one dot text it means answer is correct then click on this uh, notifier and you will find the option of this one so message dollar just call it here and the message i'm to display it here that the answer is correct okay uh good job or something like that good job and the title i'm going to make it right answer or correct answer correct answer and the button i'm to make here next question okay next next question okay now if the answer is wrong okay then else we will make it again notifier notifier here and the great job to make it like a wrong uh, answer uh, sorry correct answer is something you can make it here wrong answer title i'm to make it try uh sorry uh, and the, this button name is try again okay fine now whenever the answer is right then we will call this procedure again to initialize the new uh, value of this level one and level two and the answer and the answer is uh, and the code automatically this will display this procedure will display the another question okay and go to the design and you will find this one text box click on it and make this hint text to uh, your answer like this okay and let's see how this app works and the two multiply by three the answer i'm to make it let's make it wrong uh correct answer is six i'm to make it five and click on this answer button you can see sorry wrong answer try again click on try again answer is uh, question is as it is now i'm going to make it six then click on answer you will find correct answer good job next question you will find the another nine to ten let's make it uh, 90 or uh, five and the answer check good job correct answer fine so that's the overall app you can change this uh, change this answer to check answer okay check answer button so this will look more fine and you can use one label also to define some space between this remove this text and make this height at least one percent like this okay so your app will look more fine. So that's the overall app. Let me know if you have some doubt. You can ask me on command. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.